Yes, so there are two legal opinions from uh, Council Mendes and King's uh, Council Jarotowicz. As I said, the one from Jarotowicz, I understand, is about 100,000 U.S. Jarotowicz, who is our ICJ uh, lawyer, and Mendes is about 50,000. So a, a total of $300,000 spent on legal opinions when I cannot comprehend or fathom why the prime minister and his government would want to go beyond Jarotowicz, who is an esteemed, uh, preeminent uh, international lawyer that is defending our territorial integrity so if we don't have confidence in him, if the government doesn't have confidence in him, uh, then something is terribly wrong. Uh, but uh, the opposition maintains that the intent of the prime minister was always uh, to get the definitive agreement passed into law as was. So as much as they tried to uh, blame everything on Erwin Contreras, and try to put uh, all of the allegations at the feet of the UDP, it is very clear as things are unfolding, as I had said all along, that the prime minister and some, at least some of his ministers, uh, had a vested interest in Portico. It is abundantly clear, this idea that it was just taken to cabinet uh, just as a perfunctory, uh, just as a matter of disclosing to them. We know the PUP behavior, we know the Brasenia administration behavior, and if they truly believed that this was UDP corruption and they wanted nothing to do with it, uh, that would have been a press conference immediately upon discovering that definitive agreement, uh, blasting the UDP blasting Minister Contreras and ripping up the definitive agreement then and there. 